I'm here at HPE Discover with Scott Ramsey, and flexible capacity is something that you guys are promoting as part of the Gen 10 servers. Can you talk about what Gen 10 does differently? So yeah, we're actually promoting flexible capacity across all kinds of platforms. It's a platform that it's a an offer that works across every single HPE platform, and uh, it's going to be uh, fit really nicely with the Gen 10 proposition. You know, Gen 10's got some great features about security and on-premise capabilities. So if you take that kind of technology, combine it with the business outcomes you get with flexible capacity, you've got a really neat solution kind of to get to those kind of public cloud experiences with all the control, security, compliance that you have with an on-premise solution. So between the two, I think we've got a perfect combination, to be honest. Can you break down what you mean by flexible capacity, just so people have a, a sure. general understanding? So flexible capacity is our public cloud-like offer where you actually get on-premise. So basically what we do with flexible capacity is we, we deploy the capacity that a customer needs now with a buffer for them to grow into, we meter what they use, we bill them for what they use, and then they have a buffer that they grow into as their demands for their business increase. And then if the demands shrink, they can shrink back down. They can pay for their consumption on all kinds of metrics. So for a kind of compute platform, they can pay for it on the, on the actual blade itself. They can pay for it on a per core basis. They can pay for virtual machines. They, if they were a containerized environment, they can pay for container nodes. So they've got lots of different options. So, so what we really offer here is many of the benefits, if not all the benefits of the public cloud, with all the control, security, and compliance of being on-premise. How is that different than what your competition is doing? Well, that's a, that's a really good question, actually. So we've seen a bit of noise lately from our competition. And uh, frankly, what the competition are doing are offering basically lease financial, financial type options. We are fundamentally different from that. So flexible capacity has actually been on the market for about five years now. We actually had some pilots before that in the Netherlands. We launched it globally about five years ago. And it's a true as a service consumption model. So we can scale up, we can scale down, we actively manage the capacity so that you've got the right capacity for your business. Uh, and it's not just a financial construct where you kind of pre-provision or you put in all this capacity ahead of demand and you just pay a fixed monthly fee. So it's truly variable depending on your business needs. It's without a doubt the market leading on-premise offer. So would it be fair to say that in that model, HP is taking some of the risk because it's making the uh, assumption Absolutely. that that you're, there will be capacity there, but if it's not, the, the customer doesn't pay for that, that extra overhead? So absolutely, so getting capacity management correct is one of the big challenges that our customers face. And uh, they, because they're so scared of running out of capacity, they typically over-provision, and that's a risk and a cost to the customer. So what we're doing with uh, flexible capacity is we're taking on that risk. We're making a bit of a bet with the customer that they're gonna grow. They get the right experience with us. As they grow, you know, we, they, they have a really good experience and we get long-term relationships with the customer on the back of that. So it's a risk without a doubt, but we have a vested interest, as does the customer, in getting their environment sized correctly. And that's where we start to see a real win-win situation. They get the cost benefits of having the capacity they need and no more than that. And we get the kind of long-term benefit of like, you know, growing with the customer in line with their business needs. So it's, it's a long-term partnership. And, and that's good for everybody. It, 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 we use the phrase win-win too many times, but this is a classic win-win situation. All right, thanks, Scott.